Hey, what is up guys? Bonfiggy here, and today I got a 106 double moab for you guys. Now, I want to give a shout out to I Am The Vintage Gamer for allowing me to post this gameplay on my channel. Now, he kind of messaged me and wanted to know if I would post it for him, and you know, at first I kind of ignored him, I'm not going to lie about that, because, you know, I get a lot of messages asking for shout outs, but then I took a look at his channel, you know, he sent the link, and he had some crazy stuff up there. I mean, if he uploaded a moab, it was two minutes or less, and if it wasn't a moab, it was 100 plus kill gameplay and you know he told me that he got this so I wanted to give him a little bit of help I mean I think he only has like 200 to 300 subs correct me if I'm wrong but yeah his channel link will be down in the description I really recommend you guys check him out especially if you like watching those crazy gameplays because when it comes to gameplay he's definitely got it so yeah guys this is gonna be the Q&A video that I promised you guys and if we could get like 300 likes on this video I will do at least a 10 hour live stream this weekend because I'm not gonna be that busy so that would be awesome I know Jay Nash he did something like that and you know my channel is not as big as him so I'm not gonna ask as many likes but that would be awesome if you guys could just leave me a quick like uh, so the first question is will you be doing anything to help out smaller channels and you know definitely of course I'm doing it right now actually um, I'm not gonna just do it if you get like one gameplay you know it has to be consistent uploads with consistently good gameplay if you know what I mean and you know I'm not gonna just do it every video because I gotta provide my own content as well but if you got some really crazy gameplay and you know you feel that you deserve some more recognition Make sure you send me some messages on Skype or Twitter, you know, even like a YouTube PM message. And, you know, if you have the gameplay, I'm definitely down with that. You know, it's not going to be right away because I try to spread it out a little bit. But, yeah, I'm definitely into that. So, the next question is, what is your plans for the summer of 2012? And, you know, I thought that was a pretty cool question. Where I'm going to be planning on uploading a lot of videos because, you know, I'm not going to be in school or anything like that. And I'll have a lot of free time on my hands. So, a lot of videos definitely just looking forward to growing my channel because that's usually where I gain most subs because, you know, I can just upload and put the most time into my videos. But I'm also going to be going on some pretty cool vacations. I think I'm going to Florida, and my absolute favorite vacation is going to Canada with my dad. We have a lot of fun down there, and we're kind of just, like, camping on a rock in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's really fun, though, and I have a really good time down there as well, so... Uh, when will you host an open lobby is the next question and you know I've never really done like a professional open lobby if you guys know what I mean if you want to play with me just send me a message and I'll pick you up I mean it's not really that big of a deal uh, my friends list is full so I can't really add any people you know I really should go through it though because I think I have a couple inactive people uh, but other than that just send me a message and you know if I'm open and I got a free spot I'll just pick you up uh, so the next one is, are you actually 13? You sound a lot older, and I get asked that all the time, you know, ever since I did, like, the gaming setup, and uh, I turned 14 in, I think, three days, so as of right now, I'm 13 years old, but pretty soon I'll be 14, and I guess I hit puberty earlier, I don't know. My voice was, like, I was pretty much advanced UAV last year, so that's the way I'm going to put it. And what is the most fun game for me to play? And to answer that, it's probably, like, Pokemon or like Mario something like that I mean probably as of right now Black Ops because I don't really play any of those other games right now but Black Ops was definitely my favorite Call of Duty to answer that so the next one is are you thinking of going MLG and you know I really wanted to answer this because I would love to go MLG trust me I would love it but I honestly don't think that I have the skills to do so. I mean, yeah, sure, I can go into, like, a lobby against a bunch of noobs and, you know, drop some mobs and everything. I actually just got a mob right before this commentary, but, you know, and like an MLG scene, I was actually watching Aviator's live stream playing against Team Fear, and, you know, they seem like on another level. I'm not even quite sure. I mean, you guys know Nerdy. He's a great Call of Duty player, and, you know, he was getting his butt handed to him. So, you know, they definitely put up a good fight in the live stream, but Fear, man, they are really good. That's a professional MLG team and to be honest I really don't think I have what it takes so that's answering that question and then the next question is how many Moabs have I gotten and I think I have 110 I just got my 110th uh, I keep like a running track of it on my player card or uh, whatever it is like my motto on Xbox Live because I don't know like it doesn't keep track of it for you like on the game model for three so I believe I just hit 110 Moabs and you know some of them I don't upload because you know they're not always like super fast or whatever but I'm still gonna be continuing my road to 100 Moabs I just haven't really been like naming the videos that because it kind of takes up a lot of space in the title but yeah i think i'm on like episode 20 of my road to 100 moabs if i'm correct and uh, the next one are you single and then he says not gay 
Uh, I actually have a girlfriend, so I'm not going to get into that. And what is my favorite sports? Basketball by far. I don't know what it is, but, you know, I really like playing basketball. I've been playing it since I was in kindergarten, and I'm still playing it to this date. You know, I'm a point guard, so I really have a lot of fun with that. You know, you got to do a lot of ball handling, and that's probably one of the most fun positions because you get to bring the ball up the court, you know, you make the decisions and everything. So what is my favorite team at that sport was also what he asked. So it's my basketball is my favorite sport, and my favorite team is the Cleveland Cavaliers because, you know, I'm from Hot Ohio and everything. Now, I do want to mention that I am pretty mad that LeBron left, and I don't know, I just don't like the way that he did it or whatever, but yeah, when he was playing for the Cavs, that was the funnest thing ever, you know. Uh, that's just my opinion on the sports teams. I know that can get kind of crazy in the comments section, but uh, what advice would you give to a new YouTube COD commentator? And, you know, it's so hard right now. I mean, even me, uh, it's just really challenging for me to grow. And I know I'm doing pretty well, but, you know, you look at people like White Boy who gains 1,000, 2,000 subs a day, and, you know, I'm doing terrible compared to him. It just depends on the way you look at it. But right now, you know, it took me the longest time just to get one subscriber. And I don't know what it was. I mean, I improve as I get uh, farther into this YouTube thing, but it really did take me a long time to get one subscriber. I mean, I think it took me like 10 or 15 videos and you know I was still posting the gameplay I just think it was my commentary but I definitely recommend that you have really good gameplay because that's pretty much the only way that you get recognition and also you gotta have some really good commentary because you, you know you gotta maintain your audience and everything so you know it's challenging right now you gotta be doing something different and people have to enjoy your content you also have to get lucky as well but you know I definitely do think it's doable a lot of people say that it's not but if you guys want to put your heart into it and you know you want to work at it it's definitely doable I mean I started this at probably one of the worst times possible and you know look where I am right now I definitely not the biggest or anything like that but my channel is going well you know what I mean uh, so the next question is do you believe you will become a big-time youtuber such as X Jaws or Woody's gamer tag and you know that's like really hard to predict uh, definitely if I keep on continuing uploading like I do and you know keep up with the good gameplay I mean obviously my commentary is gonna improve because you guys should go back and look at my first commentary it was terrible and I feel like every time I do another commentary I get a little bit better like I said practice makes perfect so you know I don't think I'll ever be as big as X Charles or Woody's gamer tag but I do think that I will reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers and that's still a huge number that's definitely a big youtuber but definitely not as big as X Charles I mean, it's going to take a lot of hard work, and like I said, my goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers by the time I'm in college, so like four or five years. I think I can do it. Uh, that's kind of a tough question. It's really hard to predict what's going to happen and everything. So the next question is, do I have a PS3? And this is a question that I get asked every single video, and, you know, I do not have a PS3. All I have is the Xbox, and, you know, I am looking into getting a PS3 just so I can play with subscribers, really, and uh, I don't know, there's always controversy between the consoles and everything, but I just play Xbox mainly because it has, like, the chat that you can, like, talk to people, and that's kind of funny because, you know, I don't even have a mic that works, but, yeah, I'm definitely looking into get a PS3, but as of right now, I do not. And um, the next question is top five commentators, and definitely my number one favorite commentator is the GOAT. I'm not quite sure why, but I don't know, I just love his commentaries. And then next would probably be X Jaws, and uh, after that it would be Big Busy, most likely. I don't know, it's kind of a really tough question. Uh, then Woody's Gamer Tag, and then like T Martin or Syndicates, one of those guys. But there's definitely a lot of really good commentators out there. And one other person that I want to mention, you guys probably don't know him. He's got a little smaller channel, but his name is Serious Drama, and I really like his commentaries. I mean, he's kind of like Woody's Gamer Tag. The gameplay is a little bit better, I guess. But his commentaries, man, I really enjoy them. So. Uh, the next one is, what do you think of players who don't really post good gameplay but have a lot of subs like, you know, White Boy and Woody's Gamertag? That's who he mentioned, you know, I'm not, like, charging them of anything, but, you know, I think that the reason they got so big was because they started early, and don't get me wrong, they have some really good content. You know, I watched all their videos, and I enjoy them, but, you know, the thing that always disappoints me is their gameplay, but other than that, they definitely deserve the place that they are, and think about it, I mean, they've uploaded thousands of videos, so, you know, I definitely think they deserve it. 
and I hope to be as big as them someday. It's not that possible, but you know, if I could do something like that, I would definitely be really proud of myself. So, uh, next one is, what do you plan at doing with this channel as time progresses? And you know, that's something that I was also talking about in one of my other videos. You know, I'll get, of course, I want to hit a hundred thousand subscribers and you know, become YouTube famous, but. I want to do that and still be active with my subscribers. You know, I want to still play with my subscribers, respond to the comments, you know, do shout out Sundays, uh, like X Jaws or whatever, you know, help out other channels. And, you know, I don't want to like totally ignore all the smaller channels who try to talk to me. I mean, I just think that's wrong and sub counts shouldn't really matter when you're like just talking to people. Uh, but as you guys can see, <laughs> there's actually a third mob dropped in this gameplay. So, when did you start getting good at COD and when did I start playing? So, I was actually a Christmas noob on Black Ops and that's that's one thing that I thought was pretty funny and you know I started getting good about summertime where I really started playing a lot on black ops and you know that's when I was starting to drop the 100 plus kill games pretty consistently but you know it looks like I'm gonna be uh, be able to get one more question in here and uh, that is my favorite NFL football team and again it's the Cleveland Browns because I'm from Cleveland but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed that video pretty long but if you guys could leave me a like I would really appreciate that it definitely would help me out a lot